Good morning, everyone. My name is Lisa Hauser, and uh, I am the Assistant Director for Admissions and Recruiting here at Taubman College. This morning, we're talking about the Master's of Urban Design degree. Uh, the format of the session will be, uh, we're going to go over a few slides, um, talk about admissions and why the college, and we'll, we'll definitely save up some time at the end for um, your questions and answers. So we will go ahead and get started. So first of all, a little bit about Taubman College. We create a better, more inclusive and beautiful built environments. We prepare graduates for positions of responsibility within a wide spectrum of professions, organizations and institutions that shape the built environment at scales ranging from local to global. We are a community of designers, planners and creators. And we have more than 750 undergraduate and graduate students currently at the college and with approximately 30 different countries represented. In total, we have seven degree programs and certificates, and we are loaded, located on North Campus um, in the Art and Architecture Building. And then a little bit about the Masters of Urban Design degree itself. It is a post-professional degree. Um, it is a one and a half year, uh, one and a half year degree, uh, approximately 45 credits. Um, so it's a fall, winter, fall, focuses on co conceptualization and complex global processes of urban transformation. It is a studio-based curriculum and a STEM-designated degree. And then why the MUD at Taubman College? It, a curriculum that addresses the post-pressing global issues at the intersection of urbanism, environment, technology, and society. Uh, and internationally recognized faculty with broad expertise in urban design and theory. We have access to Detroit and cities around the globe. We are a globally ranked university, number one in US public, number 15 in world reputation rankings, top five, uh, one of the, for public universities, uh, number one public research university and number one best small college town. We always like to highlight the opportunities to engage in dual degrees uh, beyond the Masters of Urban Design. You can add many, as you can see from the slide, many um, different options to, um, the, to the Masters of Urban Design degree, such as the public uh, Masters of Public Health, Masters of Public Policy, and then um, we also do house three different graduate certificates. That's real estate development, healthy cities, and urban informatics. And I'll touch on the application process if you're considering a dual a little later in the presentation. Uh, financial aid resources and funding. Your application to the program automatically considers you for any merit-based Taubman College scholarships. Along with the scholarships, there's opportunity for employment as graduate student um, instructors both within Taubman College and the larger university as a whole. Uh, those positions, as you can imagine, are very competitive. Um, we have probably more positions um, available than we, we have necessarily students to fill them or vice versa, I should say. Um, it really depends on the teaching needs in any given term. Um, we also encourage you all to fill out your FAFSA uh, that will enroll you in any opportunities for work study loans and grants. Uh, the, the FAFSA is open now. It opened as of October 1st, uh, but unfortunately you, must, you should be a U.S. citizen to receive the, the need-based aid. All right, and then a little bit about the application process. Admissions eligibility, so this is a, a post-professional degree, so the the requirement for admission would be a five-year bachelor's of architecture or other professional degree, as you can see here. Um, if you have questions about your specific undergrad degree, feel free to reach out um, and we can confirm. Uh, admissions overview, you will need to fill out the Taubman College um, online application that is currently open, opened in September. Along with the application, you'll have three uh, letters of recommendation. Uh, an official transcript that's just scanned and uploaded with your application, a statement of purpose, 
uh, you'll want to include why you chose the MUD program, why Taubman, why U of M, and then overall your career goals. Include your resume or CV, and you will be required to also upload a portfolio, of course, uh, via the slide room link that will be provided during your uh, the, in the application. Uh, those of you that are non-native English speakers, you would be required uh, to provide a TOEFL or IELTS score sent to the University of Michigan. There is, of course, an application fee, $75 for U.S., $90 for non-U.S. And then for those of you that are interested in potentially applying to uh, a dual degree program here at Taubman College, you would need to begin one application and submit that app first application and then start the second and submit the second. So you, it's unfortunately you can't work on them kind of concurrently, the application that is. Uh, let's see, what's next? Part of the admissions application after you've submitted your application, we do do online interviews with uh, those that have applied, uh, I would say two or three weeks um, after uh, the application is after the application deadline. Uh, the goal of the interview is to further discuss your interest in the specific degree, um, MUD degree at the college, um, and just, you know, overall complement your uh, application. So be, be ready to have a conversation. Don't worry about over-preparing. We will reach out. Um, these would be faculty that would be interviewing you. Um, they will have your application details in front of them. So, um, and for international folks, it's a great opportunity to exercise your English. Important dates to remember, that application deadline is January 15th with notifications uh, hopefully being sent out the early part of March, uh, but that's all via email. And then we'll have an admitted student, um, a ver various admitted student uh, events uh, through the month of March where you'll have opportunities to engage with current students, hear from some of our faculty, um, as well as some career or student affairs type um, programming. And then the deadline for you to uh, finalize your decision should you be admitted um, is April 15th. And then along with that decision is the $500 enrollment deposit. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, if questions arise between now and the time that you're starting your application or during, feel free to reach out to Taubman uh, College Admissions at umich.edu and we will try to get those uh, questions answered. And then now I'm gonna turn it over to the director of the pro program uh, to review the, the degree and student work. Al Hadi. Yes, hello, welcome to the MUD Info session. My name is El Hadi Jazairi. I'm the director of the Master of Urban Design degree uh, program at Tubman College at the University of Michigan. Next. So the MUD at Tubman College was established in 2001. So the program has been running for 20 plus years. And today we have a group of about 40 students uh, with two overlapping cohorts. The MUD is a breeding ground for urban design experimentation, approaching urbanism through multiple scales of inquiry with studio projects prompting both analytical and speculative design work related to regional infrastructure and territory, urban housing, public-private development, urban governance, landscape processes, urban technologies, climate change, resilience, and civic space. Next. The program requires 45 academic credits distributed in three semesters, fall uh, term, winter term, and fall term again. The studio-based curriculum consists of the following consecutive and thematized studios, technology in the fall, justice in the winter, and climate in the fall. This set of three urban design studios positions design as the central discipline of urban transformations. As you can see in these slides, UD12 is your first studio, UD22 the second one, UD32 the third one. You can see also that research in urbanism is a core focus of the program. A seminar on urban research introduces research methodologies and prepares students to opt for a thesis track, consolidating their own research profiles. Studios are complemented by seminars. You can also see in this slide, 
the history of urban form, representation, theories and methods of urban design, urban finance and development, policy and urban governance. Adding to the offering, students can advance their own personal academic interests, taking full advantage of courses offered across uh, campus and in other units. Next slide. So dual degrees, um, a few things you can uh, go through the program by being a dual degree student, which means that you can um, be a, an MRC student and an MUD student simultaneously. This will take you four terms. You can also do this in relation to the urban planning, uh, Master of Urban Planning, and this will take you also uh, four terms next. So this is a, a seminar on representation. Uh, this is a course that we offer that focuses on uh, the agency of the image, the agency of representation, and how basically representation allows us not only to communicate our, our ideas, but also to um, uh, do conduct research within our own uh, proposals and our own projects. Next. Delirious New York, UD32. The De Delirious Climate Project addresses the question of how urban designers can contribute to the coalition driving the Green New Deal, creating territories of ecologic, economic, and radical justice. As announced by many leading voices in climate policy, such as Naomi Klein, we are entering a period of hope on climate change. Grassroots movements and their allies in Congress are staking out an ambitious agenda that matches the scale and urgency of the climate crisis. Designing a Green New Deal for New York City is a multidisciplinary effort. It requires bringing many voices together, economists, historians, designers, activists, elected officials, and journalists engage in climate actions. This expanded urban condition will require new urban paradigms and design strategies to reconfigure Manhattanism in the age of the environment. So here, a uh, project uh, entitled uh, Manhattan Shelf by a group of students is, is trying to focus on uh, urban infrastructures, wetland, water supplies, health, and energy demands directly affected by climate change. Seaport, underground structures, aviation facilities, ship and terminals, energy equipments uh, are located in vulnerable areas and will receive a particular reconsideration in relation to uh, the threats ahead of us. Next slide. This is another uh, a example of, of studio, this is the UD22, this is the middle one. Um, <clears throat> so in uh, this uh, studio, we focus on issues that are central to the discipline, such as the social function of markets, such as the mercados of Mexico City. The approach is a transcalar approach as we represent the city through a series of urban planning transects representing uh, the project, but re representing also the city. So there is here an interest in combining the, the scale of architecture and the scale of the city. Next slide. So as you can see here, we have um, a, um, a, a sort of understanding of uh, you know, the urban project as having a catalytic, a catalytic effect uh, at, at the scale of the city. And, and you can see here that uh, what we are interested in is uh, the agency of urban design at the architecture scale, but also its impact at the larger scale. Next slide. So uh, from Mexico City to Chicago, uh, it's a different geography, but it's a similar question. The question of markets, the question of public spaces. Next slide. 
more projects. Um, I will not go into details here. Next. 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 Uh, students can, uh, student will also register in theories and methods of urban design. This is a course that prepares you for the discipline of urban design uh, by, um, at, um, by sharing uh, a number of methods and a number of theories that are uh, central to this discipline. Next. And of course, the MUD involves uh, uh, travel to a variety of national and international destinations to bring students into direct contact with the communities for whom they will be designing. So in their field, in their field studies, students exercise their critical skills, uh, but they also cult uh, cultivate uh, a cultural uh, com competency as well as more nuanced examination of local conditions and built practices. This is in the Queens, next. But students have been going also to Ahmedabad in India, next. Um, students have been uh, traveling to Chicago, next. And this is, uh, I believe, Rotterdam. Next. Back to Ahmedabad and uh, a building by Le Corbusier. Next. This is with Doshi. Next. Student, uh, students will have also the opportunity to take uh, electives or directed electives. This is one of them, Emerging Urbanism, 509, next. Urban Water Commons. So in this studio, students uh, look at the question of water. Water as, uh, as of, of course, a resource a fresh fresh water resource for the for the city but also uh, water as the main um, element the main component all, also of uh, civic space of uh, of the commons next this is another project on sovereignty geopolitics this is an artificial island you know here the Key questions are questions of autonomy, questions of resources, question of security, and uh, questions of uh, um, uh, public space. Next. This is uh, very interesting projects on infrastructure, um, still with, within the same studio, Urban Water Commons, how can aqueducts uh, allow uh, a city to uh, resolve its resources question while at the same time organizing public space? Next. 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 All right, so... Uh... This is very uh, important to us. So the diversity, equity, and inclusion at Tubman College, this is the day framework. How do we increase community engagement and transparency? How are we investing in racial equity, diversity, equity, inclusion at Tubman College? Next. Opportunities within or beyond the college. MUD students are encouraged, as uh, Lisa was uh, mentioning it, to engage in collaborations with uh, faculty members and advance their own research interests during their time at Tubman College. 
Um, so through the highly competitive MUD fellowships, the degree supports this commitment by awarding students research stipends at their time to their admissions at Dublin College, um, access to on-site world-class facilities, including the fabrication lab and the geospatial numeric lab enable students to engage in advanced technological pl platforms through the access to these resources and expanded areas of expertise on campus, students gain exposure to a myriad of contemporary global practices and schools of urban thoughts and cultivate critical design experimentations advancing the agenda of urban sustainability. Here you have the possibility also to apply to uh, become um, a fellow. So at the International Institute next, you can also apply for a grant at the DAO Sustainability Fellowship Program. Next. Faculty and research opportunities at the college. Next. So as you can see, we are a very big uh, school uh, with uh, 50 plus full-time faculty members uh, with lots of um, domains of research and uh, possibilities for collaborations for you. Next. Faculty work. Um, so this, uh, these publications, these books by colleagues, you know, are uh, ranging um, across uh, disciplines, across, you know, urban planning, architecture, urban design, geography. Next. Faculty work by extent. So this project received an ACSA award. Next. Faculty work by extent as well. Uh, this is a, a project that received a, a competition, a first prize at the competition. Next. Faculty work uh, as well was exhibited at MoMA, next. This is a uh, faculty work uh, by Anya Sirota, this, who, who is uh, engaged uh, in uh, Detroit in particular, but engaged also in collaboration um, between the United States and France, next. Faculty work by uh, Maria Arquero uh, on the subject of the Great Lakes. So you can see here uh, from these examples that there is a wide variety of uh, research uh, scales and research interests. Next, a project by uh, the my colleague, my colleagues Jeff Toon and Kathy Velikov of RVTR um, on the Great Lakes. Next. This is on conduit urbanism. Next. And finally, we we, we celebrate the, the launch of these projects, this research uh, um, uh, subjects at the faculty annex. Uh, so we we also share this work with the larger public and we make uh, this an event that uh, allows also the work to be disseminated. Next. More work at the faculty annex. So the exhibition is also a very important format. So uh, once the research has been finalized, another concern is how to make it public. Next. And of course, the, the medium, the medium and the way the medium communicates to an audience is uh, extremely uh, interesting as a subject matter in itself. Next. Career and professional development. Next.
So uh, you will have the possibility during your time at the uh, Dublin College to interact with uh, career and profession, uh, professional development uh, support. You will be able also to uh, learn about, uh, you know, uh, portfolio, the portfolio development, portfolio review, the career fairs, the spring break programming. You'll have also internship possibilities during your time at Tubman College, and you will be put in contact with potential uh, professional companies that are looking for uh, people like you or people with uh, skills uh, that you might have. Next slide. Gra graduate outcomes at one year. This is maybe more for Lisa. So Lisa, if you can jump in here. Yeah, uh, our career professional development team have put together a report each year on where our alums are going and the outcomes um, one year out from graduation is 95% of those alumni have a position related to the degree. And then 83% found the job within six months or less within one of the top 10 um, metro areas. Next. And then this is just an example of where, um, uh, what employers our alumni uh, found positions at as far as, as well as the location and then the actual position title. Next. So these are some of our alumni. We have uh, amazing alumni across the country, but also in many parts of the world. Uh, so we 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 are very proud also to uh, to keep their contacts and to be uh, to be in a regular uh, you know communication with them. Next, next. Student-led initiative. So the Matsa at Tubman College is a very interesting uh, group association. Um, it it uh, it allows the MUD students also to initiate conversations, to invite uh, guest lectures, to interview uh, faculty members. Next, to organize also exhibits at the college. So there is also. Um, a possibility for you as a MUD students to engage in initiatives that are um, your own and that are uh, discussed uh, within within the group of the MUD students. Next. These are some of the initiative MUD alumni lecture series. Next. And these are the breakfast series interviews. Next. Next. And this is an exhibition that is organized as well, content context. Next. Design justice actions. Next. And this is, uh, I think, one of the final slides. So this is how to get in touch with us. So we hope that uh, this was an informative session. Thank you very much for joining us today. And uh, I think we will move to the second part of uh, this information session.